In the hustle and bustle of life, we often feel overwhelmed by the demands and the challenges that come our way. However, as believers, we have a source of strength that transcends our circumstances, God's power and promises. So in 2 Peter 1, 3 through 4, it says, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these things, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. See, God's power equips us with everything that we need to live a life that honors him. See, this power is accessed through our knowledge of Jesus, who has called us by his glory and goodness, the Bible tells us. See, God empowers us to live the life he desires for us. He doesn't leave us to struggle on our own. Instead, he provides us with the strength and the resources that we need. See, this empowerment comes not only from the understanding and embracing the promises that God has given us, but also from the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us as followers of Christ. See, these promises are not just empty words. They're powerful and they're transformational, enabling us to participate in God's divine nature and escape the corruption of the world. See, our spiritual strength is revealed in how we honor and hold fast to God's promises. When we trust in his promises and we rely on his power, we can navigate life's challenges with confidence and with hope. Just like a computer is useless if it doesn't have a power source, in the same way, our strength is not about our own abilities, but about our dependence on God's power and on God's faithfulness. So let's not forget about the power and promises of God in our lives. Let's consider the specific promises of God that you can stand on during your current circumstances. Let's honor these promises by trusting in them fully and allowing them to guide our actions and our decisions. So how can we rely more on his strength rather than on our own? Well, that's a good thing to think about. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for your divine power that gives us everything we need for a godly life. Help us to grow in our knowledge of you and to embrace your great and your precious promises. Strengthen our faith as we honor and we rely on your promises, knowing that you are faithful. Empower us to live the life you desire for us, reflecting your glory and your goodness in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen.